renowned British street artist Banksy pulled off one of the greatest pranks in the history of the art world. Banksy, Banksy, Banksy. Banksy. Sprung quite a trap after one of his paintings was auctioned off last night for more than a million dollars. And immediately passed through a shredder hidden inside its frame. Now the work is worth twice as much. Banksy. This is just the most elusive character in the art world. His graffiti creations have sold for millions of dollars. For the better part of the past decade, Banksy has presented his pieces of political and social commentary throughout the world. He's saying, art world, don't take yourself too seriously. I don't take it too seriously, and yet I'm making millions of dollars from it. He's kind of laughing all the way to the bank. Banksy, who appeared in this 2010 Oscar-nominated documentary about his life, has never let anyone see his face. Ultimately, he can't show his face. If he's a, if he's a face, if he's a person, they can come arrest him for defacing property. Graffiti does ruin people's property, and it's a sign of decay and loss of control. You can't paint, you can't do your graffiti on public property. You can't do it. Graffiti is a crime, so nation, call the police if you see this man. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity because the thing is, is they're here and then they're gone. After months of anticipation, Banksy's biggest exhibition to date, a play on Walt Disney's Disneyland. Welcome to Disneyland. Migrant ships on pools. That's right. The overturned pumpkin carriage of Cinderella. I mean, this is not for children. Banksy has collaborated on and reportedly financed a West Bank hotel. The view here, it is particularly special. We're right up against the wall that divides Israel from Bethlehem in the occupied West Bank. We did not have much tourists coming into Bethlehem. There were more Banksy tourists than Jesus tourists. 